Hey, what's happening, y'all? Okay, I wanna I wanna speak about um, racism um, and how people are biased and how people do what they do because they don't value or see you as a real person or something or somebody that they can respect. Now, I'm reading from, and this has nothing to do with religion, but, you know, in the various scriptures, I'm reading from the Quran, the Final Testament, translated by Dr. Rashad Khalifa. I'm reading from Hud, Surah 11, 91. Now, this just dawned on me today. It said, they said, O Shuaib, we do not comprehend many of the things you are telling us and we see that you are powerless among us if it were not for your tribe we would have stoned you you have no value for us now let's take let's look at that in modern times what's going on now because we're living now a lot of things you're going to be saying people are not going to comprehend it they're not going to understand right and then they're going to look at you to see what kind of power you got or who are you. So they only respect power. That's number one. And this is why things are going on and have been going on. They respect power. You know. And, um, and also how strong your people are. Your tribe. Or you know. Like who's the strongest race. That's who they're going to respect. Okay? And so they see that, you know, his tribe, you know, they had a little strength, they had a little pull, so they, they didn't stone him. We would have stoned you. And you have no value for us. So they saying right here, you have no value. So, so this is what's going on. People don't value one another. We don't value ourselves, many of us. So this is why we have biasness, racism, killings, robbery, and all these other things. People don't comprehend. Um, they see you as being powerless, so they try to take advantage of you. And um, they look at how strong your tribe is, how strong your people are. Um, and this is why, you know, the killings are going on and stuff like that. You have no value for us. That's deep. And then he says, he said, oh, my people, does my tribe command a greater respect than God? Is this why you have been heedless of him? My Lord is fully aware of everything you do. Oh, my people, go on doing what you wish, and so will I. You will certainly find out which of us will incur shameful retribution. You'll find out who the liar is. Just wait in anticipation, and I will wait in anticipation along with you. When our judgment came, we saved Shuaib and those who believed with him by mercy from us. As for those, as for the evil ones, they were struck by disaster and that left them dead in their homes. It was though they never existed. Thus, Midian perished, just like. Our mood had perished before that. So I'm going to stop right here. So this is Surah 11. I read from um, Surah 91 to 95. There's more to read, but you know, I'm just going by what I've been inspired to feel and say. So this is the situation, you know. Um, we all are guilty of not valuing maybe ourselves or valuing others. So we have to change that, we have to be aware of that, and we have to first start with what we see, what the issue is about ourselves, because we don't have the power to change the whole world. Only power you may have is to change yourself, change your inner, outer world. You have that power. So cosmic.